If you guys would like to pick up any of the figures you see in today's video, go over to ringsidecollectibles.com and use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. I ain't got nothing cool to say on this one. What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic Money of Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have another WWE Elite Series 78 review, and it is a two-in-one review on the brand new Elite 78, Kofi Kingston and Randall Keith Orton. Now, both of these figures are looking pretty good in the packaging. I do have some gripes about both of them, which we will, of course, get into. We're going to break all of it down for you guys. But coming into this figure review, I was excited for the Randy Orton. I am glad they changed the head sculpt, but uh, did they nail it? Did they get it right the second time around from the change? We'll find out here together. And and then Kofi Kingston, I think this is the best looking Kofi Kingston head to toe that we've ever gotten, so I am super excited for this one. We're going to do the comparisons, we're going to break them down, take a closer look at their accessories and all the different ish. But before we do that guys, let's dive into their packaging. Front viewing windows here, you got their accessories and all their glory. Spinning it around here, you have, uh, actually surprising, you know, usually it's somebody, the baby face is happy and the heel is not, but it seems that uh, you got a little happiness over here and just, uh, he, he looks pissed off, Brad. Look at him. Spinning it to the left guys we also have a little bit of bio read if you want to read it you can pause it now and actually i'm just now looking at this this randy orton is from where he challenged kofi for the wwe title at SummerSlam 2019 and now randy orton is battling for the championship again at SummerSlam 2020 versus drew mcintyre which is interesting here you have a drop kick from kofi and a randy orton face face thing and then spinning into the front we're back where we started ladies and gentlemen so with that being said guys let's go ahead and crack kofi kingston and randy orton out of their packaging watch out watch Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. So here is Randy Orton and Kofi Kingston out of their packaging. Looking pretty swell. Again, they do have their issues, which we're going to cover again. But so far, you know, posing them around, stuff like that, they do remind me of their older figures and stuff like that. You know, I don't think we're getting anything groundbreaking out of these two, but we are updating our figures. You know, these are updated versions of Kofi Kingston, of Randy Orton. I'm not going to sit here and act like this is some brand new first time in the line deal. We have seen these guys multiple times over. Both of these guys have like 10, 11 elites, I think, or something like that. I think Kofi has like eight or nine, and then Randy, of course, I think is somewhere in that ballpark as well. This is not our first rodeo, man. We have been here before, but we're going to take a look at them, see how they differ from others, compare them, talk about them, and find out everything good between the two. So that being said, guys, let's go ahead and take a closer look at Kofi Kingston's Let's take a closer look at Kofi Kingston's accessories, and then Kofi Kingston himself, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Randy Orton, and then Randy Orton himself. Alright guys, so for Kofi Kingston's accessories, you don't get a ton of stuff here, man. We do get a championship, which is the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championship. No longer Tag Team Champions. Shinsuke Nakamura and Cesaro are champions at the time of recording. But something they did different with the, the, the differently, you dumb jackass, differently with this championship is they did change the finish on the title. You guys can see here, this used to look more shiny, but look how shiny this is. They changed it to a matte silver, which is much more accurate. This actually is a lot better for the SmackDown down tag team championship i think it looks way better and more accurate to the actual title here's another shot of it again definitely a matte finish on it and it looks great i think this looks a lot more like the championship than this bright like nickel dime color so this is nice. I like to see that. I'm not a big fan of these championships. I do like these better than the penny belts. Probably my least favorite belt ever is the penny belts. Then you have the Raw Tag Team version, which I'm a sucker for blue, one of my favorite colors. So yeah, blue's definitely going to be better than red in this case. But these, these titles and the Raw Tag titles need a serious facelift, man. I'm just sick of it. And not changing it to the WWE logo and, and the same exact thing as every other championship. Something new and creative and unique. But his other accessories, guys, is interchangeable hands. Out of the packaging, he does have mic holding hands and then he does come with the you can't see me hands and i really don't know like nothing's coming to my head why he would use this i can't even remember what his other figure came with the wrestlemania elite maybe it came with this too but i can't really think can you guys let me know down in the comment section below like it's not like he can you know you would think it'd be the new day but i get like i guess you're shouting or is this supposed to be high fives i don't know it's just not coming to my head right now i'm sure it's pretty obvious and i'm just a stupid jackass but there you go and then his last accessory guys is going to be 
the plate of pancakes, which I think we've seen before in a battle pack with the New Day, but you guys can see here they are thin and nice. Um, but that's not, I don't like thin, nice pancakes, man. I like the thick stuff. You know, we need at least like a like an inch or at least half an inch of thickness on those pancakes. Look how thin they are. I actually caught one of these at a WWE show. Tasted terrible, and it wasn't thick at all. Very thin. I would call them crepes, man. These are more of a crepe. These are not pancakes whatsoever, but they do have a nice texture to them. Whoever sculpted this did a pretty good job. Got a lot of them stacked on there. They don't come apart from the plate. They are kind of a soft material, but you do get a nice little blue dinner plate there, or a purplish, bluish dinner plate, and I guess you can have these sitting in catering and have them carry them out. I don't know. It would have been nice to have a singular pancake for them to throw or eat, but there is the plate of pancakes. But after that, guys, that pretty much does it for Kofi Kingston's accessories, so let's go ahead and dive into Kofi Kingston himself. All right, guys, so taking a closer look at Kofi Kingston himself, you guys will see here by the head sculpt. I think we have seen this head sculpt before, but uh, mine is clearly misprinted. You guys can see it's like they put the eye placement a little bit to the right, I do believe. It looks like they planted it a little bit off there, which is kind of upsetting because now I'm going to have to head swap it. I'm going to have to do some swippaging and swappaging and get it all fixed up. I'll either buy a basic of this exact head sculpt or I'll just switch it with the America Kofi Kingston. I really like this head sculpt, though, so I'll probably just buy a basic or a battle pack or whatever to replace it but that is really unfortunate i hate that that happened you know sometimes the quality control can be a pain in the ass so yeah my, my head sculpt is a little bit screwed up now the torso arms all of that jazz is pretty much the same that we've gotten from every other kofi kingston figure nothing changes here um we will do a comparison of his wrestlemania elite because i'm pretty sure the arm sleeves and stuff like that are very very similar this color may be a little bit less saturated which we'll find out but i think this is where the money is made on this figure it's a very nice attire i love the colors that they got going on with this figure if my dumbass camera would stop being a hobo for three seconds and focus in here you guys can see the new day graphics going on on the sides here i think all this stuff looks good all these graphics and stuff he does not have knee pads which is unfortunate you guys can see here it does say kofi right there and some nice silver slash white lettering on the other side you get some more graphics you get the unicorn there you get all this purple and pink and blue it's just really bright really saturated looks really really good this is definitely my favorite attire from a new day kofi that we have seen seen thus far. I like this WrestleMania Elite, but I just like the colors. You know, that one was more of like, got, you know, a lot of bronze-ish gold going on. This one has a lot of bright colors, and it kind of reminds me of MDT in the channel, which is probably why I like it so much. And you get like this tie-dye looking pattern, which really looks great. But going down into the kick pads, this is really nice as well. You guys can just kind of see this like airbrushed, like blue and white, pink, purple, all just kind of mixed in. The New Day logos on the kick pads look really good as well. And I don't know, I just really like it, and it actually has given me an idea. It looks like these kick pads are molded in pink so maybe we can get a little customization going right there remove all the paint maybe get some pink kick pads in here for a custom or a fix up that would be pretty dope the shoes do have black and gold on there with white outsoles similar to what we saw in his wrestlemania elite but that is pretty much your kofi kingston figure guys beautiful looking attire with some eyes that are looking like Shawn michaels it's just jokes i i love hbk all right, guys, so for your Kofi Kingston Elite figure comparisons, you guys can see here I was right about the sleeves. This is more of like a fuchsia-ish color, and, and this is more, or it's like a, I, I don't even know how to describe it. You guys can see the difference, though, in the pinks here. And uh, now that I'm looking at it, guys, I feel like this head sculpt is putrid. I mean, that's just abysmal. I don't, I don't like it. That's terrible. You add that in there with the baldness. I, do, I know I added a fade, which makes it look 20 times better, but this head sculpt is just not good. I, I don't like it. But here's a comparison shot of the shoes. I mean, pretty daggum close. I mean, they're very similar. I bet he wore the same shoes at both events if I had to take a guess. And then here's the shot in the attires. I definitely like this one on the right. The Elite 78 is stronger in head sculpt. It's stronger in overall head sculpt, attire, all, all of it. It's just it's just better. And then you have the Elite 52 Kofi right here, which is pretty nice. You know, yeah, it wasn't bad at all. I actually think the Elite 52 is better than the WrestleMania figure. And then you have uh, his most recent uh, main Elite Wave Kofi right here in the America attire versus versus the Elite 78, and I must say, uh, this is a very strong figure, but I think a head, this head sculpt over here would actually look better, which uh, I did custom paint the head, you know, the hair lines right there before we got the main Elite way long ago, like well, right when he first did it. I kind of want the rainbow hair Kofi. I think that'd be a nice release, but here's your last comparison shot of that, and actually these Adidas or these winged shoes may look badass over here as well. I don't know. We may be able to play with some of this stuff, but that pretty much does it for your Kofi Kingston Elite figure comparisons, guys. So with that being said, let's dive in to Randy Kiki Kuku Kuku. Check a carrot cake. A cookie crisp. 
So for Randy Orton's accessories, guys, I mean, it's pretty much a re-release of the Elite 67 Randy Orton. You get the same hoodie mold that we got. It does have half of a Viper's head here. Dues paid. Got the tongue going through the D right there. Nothing too crazy. I hate these rubber vests. They're definitely better than, like, a rubber jacket, but a cloth hoodie would be super nice to see. I know we see stuff like Shinsuke Nakamura's jacket. We see stuff like Dolph Ziggler's jacket, and we see stuff like Matt Riddle's long sleeve, and it just makes me think, why can't we get hoodies and stuff for our figures with, like, some Velcro here to velcro that down or or do something i think we could we could use some new tooling we have seen uh you know rubber hoodies for a long time now but outside of that you do get interchangeable fists which i want to see interchangeable mike holding hands for my randy orton man i want to see mike holding hands they do this with jeff hardy and they do this with randy orton every single time we need mike holding hands for jeff hardy and randy orton start the hashtag mike holding hands for hardy and orton get it going but seriously though out of the packaging he does have his posing hands, which are nice. We've seen these before. Nothing too crazy, but we really need Mike holding hands, man. We need Mike holding hands. Mike holding hands, please. But that does it for Randy Orton's accessories, guys. Not a lot of stuff going on with it, but let's go ahead and take a closer look at the Viper himself. Alright guys, so getting into Randy Orton himself here, uh, you know, when they first showed off the render image, I was kind of like, what the hell is even that, when regarding the head sculpt? But getting it in hand, it looks a lot better than that render image, it kind of looked like one of those older Randy Orton head sculpts, and I think this figure, or this head sculpt does look like Randy Orton, the likeness is definitely there, I'm not feeling the, the hairstyle, and I feel like I need to add a 5 o'clock shadow to it, I feel like that will do wonders for this figure, so we'll probably go, you know, I'll probably do that in a video maybe for Action Figure Surgery 50 or something we can add a five o'clock shadow or something. It's kind of reminding me of a true effects version of uh, one of my favorite Randy Orton head sculpts, but without the beard on it. But we'll, we'll take a closer look at that when we get to the comparisons portion. So I think a five o'clock shadow again would do wonders for this. Maybe like a, a lip paint or something. We need more details in this face and I think that would do greatly for it. But going down to the torso, same torso we saw with the Elite 67 tattoos going up on here, which makes the figure look so much better. More accurate than Randy Orton. You also have his little bar right here on the ribs which looks good all tattoos are looking good you know i really wish they would get um you know how like on his older figures i feel like the details of the tattoos was better you know i know he got them reworked he got them darker he got them looking way better but over here he's supposed to have like a red rose in there and uh, some of this stuff is a little bit lighter so i wish there was some more dimension or something on here instead of just all the tattoos thrown on there like even undertaker's arms on his figures have his little red and blue details and stuff like that so that is something that i would like to see on a, you know future elite randy orton's or something like that but besides that i like these arms they look good randy orton's jack so uh, i don't really mind this arm mold i kind of like it to be honest it kind of hides it with all the tattoos and stuff going down into the tire you do get the black attire with the red designs with white outline which we have never seen before we have seen black trunks with red you know details but they were with black and we've seen white and we've seen blue but we have never seen red with white outline so that does look good you got orton on the back looks really clean really good deco right here not like my eyes of my kofi over there shaking my my damn head but the deco looks good the thighs look good you do get rkos on the knee pads open knee pads there with the rkos i'm not big fans of the rkos on the knee pads it just kind of looks kind of create a wrestlery if you will but uh you know it is what it is he used to do that and uh, i'm pretty sure that's accurate but i'm, I'm not a fan of that I, I don't like it anyways going down standard black boots nothing too crazy there and that is pretty much your randy orton elite figure man again nothing too out of the ordinary nothing too crazy or nothing like that but let's go ahead and take a look at some Randy Orton Elite figure comparisons. So for your Randy Orton accessory parts, guys, I don't know what I'm saying. So for your Randy Orton Elite figure comparisons, guys, you get guys, you can, so taking a look at some Randy Orton Elite figure comparisons, guys, you will see the Elite 78 in the middle. On your left, you do have the most recent main Elite Wave line, Elite Randy Orton. You do have this one here, which is the Elite 67. Here is the Elite 9, I think. You have my little fix-up best of pay-per-view, which I've used in the pick fed since day one. You have the All-Stars Randy Orton, I think, is what this one is, and then you have the Elite 49 over here, which is the only Legend Killer version that we have so far, but we are getting a new one in the Fan Central Wave, which I'm super excited about going into next year, even though they effed up the attire. But you guys can see an array of head sculpts, an array of attires, very similar figures all across the board, but I think they have improved. Now, this is what I was talking about with the head sculpts. I do want to get a little zoom in shot here because I feel like this is my favorite Randy Orton head sculpt on the right. I just love the likeness and the demeanor of it, and you guys can see this kind of looks like 
it, except it's painted slightly different. Now, I think a 5 o'clock shadow or just some facial hair painted just like this, maybe a little bit thinner on this figure, I think will do wonders for it, and I'm actually looking forward to doing that. So hopefully, you know, I can nail it. I also think if this hair was, like, sculpted a little bit higher or a little bit more like his last figure, which would be the Elite 69 figure, uh, maybe just a little bit shorter than this, I think it would also look good. But this head sculpt looks pretty damn good as well. So I don't think you can go wrong. All three of them look good. And I would definitely recommend any of these three if you're going to do a Randy Orton, unless you're going with an older Randy Orton. But uh, yeah, I, I, I love Randy Orton figures, man. It's, it's probably one of my favorite figures to collect. They're very, very similar. But, you know, you go up on my shelf. This is by far no means all of the Randy Ortons. They just look really good up next to each other with all the different trunks and hairstyles, tattoos, you know, progressing over time. But that pretty much does it for your Randy Orton Elite Figure comparisons. But anyways, guys, that pretty much does it for our 2-in-1 Elite 78 review on the brand new Randy Orton and Kofi Kingston figures. Now, I will say overall, the Elite 78 Co uh, Kofi Kingston is a lot better than his WrestleMania Elite. And I would say, you know, if you picked up the America attire, do you absolutely have to get the Elite 78? Probably not. But I would say it's a better figure. I like the attire more. It's definitely the best Kofi Kingston attire, at least from my own personal experience. I love the MDT colors they got going on. It's a good head sculpt, even though my eyes are misprinted. Shaking my damn head. But overall, I, I do like the figure. You get the pancakes, you get the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. And if it's at retail and you need to update your New Day figures or you just want a new Kofi, that is definitely a figure that I recommend. And then for Randy Orton, I do like this attire a lot. You know, I'm not big on the head sculpt. Again, it may need a little bit of paint work. If you have this basic back here, I can never remember the series. I think it's like basic 74, 75. I can't remember, man. I'm not 71. I mean, F it. It's one of those series through there. You get one of those head sculpts, you put it on this figure, it probably look badass as well. Or you want to repaint it, you're a customizer, something like that. But overall, I am actually uh, intrigued to see where these guys turn up in our Elite 78 ranking video, which will either be uploaded later today or tomorrow, so definitely be on the lookout for that. How will it stack up against Elite 78, Matt Riddle, and our truth We will have to find out. But if you liked any of the figures in today's video, guys, you want to go grab some from Ringside Collectibles, you want to pick up either of these guys, go over to WrestlingFigures.com, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Show me a screenshot of you using the code, and I will shout it out on my Instagram. Thank you so much to everybody who's been using the code lately. Absolutely killing it. Keep it up. But overall, thoughts on these figures are solid. I think, uh, you know, we're moving in the right direction in some aspects of these figures. Were these absolutely needed? Probably not. But, you know, these guys fly off shelves. People love Kofi. People love Randy Orton. They're gonna buy them. They're on the shelves. They're gonna buy them. They're like Braun and John and Roman, man. They, you know, they're gonna sell. They're gonna get them out there and they're gonna fly off the shelf. But anyways, guys, that is gonna do it for my review. Thank you so very much for watching. Again, WrestlingFigures.com. Use the promo code MDTOYS if you're gonna buy something. Something. Link is somewhere in the description, I do believe. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.